Hi, welcome to Thin Black Line. In this series of videos, we will discuss how weight and cues methodology work and how it can effectively be used for performance tuning. It's an introduction module. On a query execution, SQL Server uses resource like CPU, memory, and hard disk and sends final results back to the application. Sometimes SQL Server response is in query resolution is poor. In this situation, biggest question is that where to start looking to resolve the performance issue. SQL Server is permanently tracking why execution threads are waiting for. So why not? We should ask SQL Server itself. Sys.dm on a wait stat. Wait type page IO latch sh. Substance. A thread is waiting for a data page to be read into the buffer pool from disk. But why wait occurs? Within the Windows operating system, SQL Server runs its own mini operating system. User mode scheduler and worker threads are the major part of SQL Server operating system. Scheduler handles memory, IO and processor for SQL Server tasks as it knows its task better than Windows operating system. If multiple processors are available, each processor control has one user mode scheduler. When a query is received at the SQL Server end, it's carefully examined for its complexity and then an execution plan is finalized. According to query complexity in some user settings, a query can be assigned to one worker thread from the worker threads pool or task can be divided and assigned to multiple worker threads. Every user mode scheduler consists of three parts a processor, resource waiter list, runnable queue. A worker thread arrives and lands at the end of runnable queue. This queue works on first in first out basis. When a thread is moved to processor for query execution, its relevant process status becomes running. Processor keeps on processing query until processor needs some resource which are currently not available. According to the user mode scheduler structure, when threads are not using processor, they voluntarily yield the processor for other threads and goes to waiter list. Suppose a thread needs some more data which is not currently in memory. So thread has to wait until data is being loaded from the hard drive to the memory. Waits can be of different types. A good thing is that SQL Server keeps every detail of these waits. Waiter list is a random list. Means any waiting thread can have its relevant data first and can be signaled to go ahead. Once signaled, thread is moved to runnable queue. Until thread is waiting for its turn for processor in runnable queue, its relevant process status remains runnable. Threads continue this clockwise movement from running to suspended, to runnable to running, again until the task is completed. SQL Server keeps track of the time that elapses between leaving the running state and becoming running again is called the wait time or total wait time and the time spent on runnable queue is called the signal wait time which shows how long does the thread need to wait for the CPU after being signaled at wait list. For performance tuning we need to work out the time spent waiting on the suspended list. That is called the resource wait time. By subtracting the signal wait time from the overall wait time. When it comes to performance tuning, two things must be remembered. As per user mode or cooperative scheduler model, weights is must thing for almost every query. Hence, iteration and total time period for a weight type is really important. Secondly, not all weight types have the same importance. Some of them can be ignored and few are considered as fire alarm.